Hi guys, welcome to uh, West Coast Health TV channel. We're excited today to get Steve Gravina, our uh, mobility guru, to help us through some cool ideas you can do at home on your lounge room while you're stuck at home. So I'll hand over to Steve to uh, go through some things. Good luck. Thanks mate. Uh, okay, plenty of time on our hands now and obviously with the inability to do too many other things in gyms, um, great way to get some mobility going and something to break up the day. Uh, that you can do at home, on your own, with your, with your family, with your kids. Um, I think always a good way to start is to do a bit of a pre-test and just to see where you're at. And you can use this at the end of the session to see if you've improved. So a really good one is just to bend down, see how easy it is to touch your toes or touch your ankles or touch the floor, how tight you are there. Another one, drop into a bit of a squat, keep your heels down, see how comfortable that is. And then another really good one is just to get your legs over the top, see if you can get your feet to the floor, and then if you can lock out those knees. So there are all three really good ones you can do at the start, do at the end, and see if you've improved for the, uh, for the session, okay? To start with, now the yogi's been doing this kind of thing for thousands of years, so they've got something right. We'll start to do just a few sun salutations just to get moving. So arms up the top, Folding down, touching the floor, stepping back, dropping down, pressing up, and then coming up into a downward dog. Really good position, just to start to open up. You can muck around with different positions of your feet, bend your knees, really open up your shoulders, and then really try and work through those calves. Opening right up through there. Spend as much time as you want in this position. You can kick one leg up and out, try and open up through the side, get a good stretch through your, through your lats, through your trunk, other side. And just pedaling a bit more. Walking your feet back up and coming up. And you can roll through that a few times. Next one. Testing out that squat again and spending some time down here. Really good position. We don't do it a lot. Going below 90 degrees in our hips and our knees. And so having a bit of a go to start with, just seeing if you can get there. If you can't, you feel that you're propped up, you can even just grab, grab a towel, or anything you've got at home which can just prop your ankles up a little bit and you might find you can get yourself down or holding onto a doorway, holding onto a chair, anything like that can help. But the aim is to work yourself down into this squat position, spending some time down here. Okay, instead of just being static down here, you can start to work through your knees and through your hips, pushing apart with your elbows. You can start to do some rotations each way. You can see how low you can bend with that, with your head whilst keeping your butt down. So you can do a bit of a bridge and see if you can touch through your thumb and keep dropping down, give yourself a bit more of a challenge. And just spending time down in through this position for a while. Build some time in those positions. And coming back up. Another one in that squat pattern where you can actually work on one side and then the other is dropping through. Again, if you need some support, towel under the heel or holding onto the floor, but trying to work into this position, change it to the other side. Again, trying to keep knees out. Going through both ways. And relaxing there. If you've got yourself a couch at home or a chair, you can spend some time really trying to work through the hamstring and calf, trying to grab hold of one aspect, if you can get to your feet, get to your feet. And I want you to really try and pull the foot up, 
and do a few little bounces and try and bounce from your hip. Try and pull yourself right in and you can spend a minute or two just counting, get up to 50 or so bounces, nice and gentle, not overdoing it from the upper back, but really trying to drive through the pelvis. And you can change sides. Really pulling up through the foot, trying to get lower and lower and lower. See if you can almost get head, touch the knee or touch some part of some part of the body. Boy, you've got your couch here. Another really good one just to open up the other side and out through your quad and hip flexors and just what's called cow stretch. So you come into a good hip flexor and quad stretch. You really want to make sure you're not overarching through here because that's what the body's going to want you to do. Really tuck under, keep your back nice and flat. Squeeze the butt, push your hip forward. You can add your arms over top as well. Start to lean away. For a really good stretch through that quad. If you want to get a little bit more challenging, trying to bring it all the way back directly under, which will make it a lot harder to get the butt switched on. We've got a big handbrake at the front here that we need to really let go. Get that guy on. And change sides. Again, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, holding that. Really get that glute fired up, arms up. And come on down. All right, now that we've warmed ourselves up a little bit, we start to get a bit of movement. If you've got a bit of space in your lounge room or down the hallway, a couple of really good positions that you can try. Um, we talk about different animalistic movements um, that we do with a few of the, the guys down the west coast to really get them moving a little bit more and you bring a bit more fun into the session. So a few exercises we can do, one's called a, a, a bear crawl. This bear crawl that we do, we basically try and pull one leg as close to that hand as we can and then walk the other hand forward. Keep the knees straight. And go out the other way. See if you can get to a point where you can almost touch the hand to the foot. That's the first one. Now an ostrich walk, where it's basically bobbing, keeping everything relaxed up top. Knees locked out, trying to bob through the pelvis, trying to get as low as you can, touching the floor if you can, relax your head down, get into really good length through the back, the legs, hamstrings, calves, and relax there. A duck walk is another one. You're going to be careful with your knees a little bit here if you've had a history of, of knee issues, but for those that are okay, what you want to do is basically walk through the feet as they line up with the knee going straight over the top, staying nice and upright, and rolling through. Have another look going this way, just rolling with the knee directly over as it's about to touch the ground, spin it around and get it out of the way and take the next step. All right, one of my personal favorites, the lizard crawl. Now it's got a few different variations. To start with, the first variation is just being three points of contact. The hand on the ground in line with the foot, looking up to the sky, reaching forward, touching, replace that hand with the foot, replace the hand with the foot, 
and roll back, and do it again. Reaching forward, reaching forward. The next one, second progression. Bring this hand up into the air, into the floor. Try and do a bit of a push up. Hit your knee, down to your elbow, tuck in, here to the floor. Roll through, drop down, through, drop down, and back. And then the last progression, if you feel like that's pretty comfortable and you want a bit more of a challenge, you start to get rid of this hand. So you work up, drop down with one hand, and push back up. So really good workout as well. Working through those arms and really good flexibility through your hips. And that was that. So get your heart rate up, open yourself up through your hips, through your groins, and a really good workout for the upper body. A really good exercise for you to get your most bang for your buck. Alright, we're just gonna go back and spend a bit more time in that downward dog. And again, continue to work through this position and spending some time here. Really important to open up through your calves, through the backs of the legs. These are areas that just don't get much action when we're sitting at home, sitting at the desk flows up the chain, it can really impact on what's happening at the pelvis, in your spine, and all the way up to your neck. So working your way through there, you feel yourself opening up really well. Now these ones can be a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a torture test. See if you can sit yourself back on your heels, tuck your toes under, and then put some weight through your toes. So really good toe mobility exercise. On there. And then drop them down, spending some time flat on your feet. So some people find one a little bit more painful than the other. Both can be um, a bit of a challenge. And then coming on the floor. Just spending time on the floor. A lot of people feel that they're quite stuck back here and really struggling to reach and, and grab anything. The idea is to try and be tall through your pelvis as much as possible. And once you're in that neutral position, then start to roll forward and touch one part of the leg that you can get to for a really good stretch. If you feel like you're really stuck back, grab that towel that you're using before. Just try and perch yourself up. And just being a little bit higher will then make life a lot easier for you and you feel like you can go a bit further. Spending time relaxing through the head. You can go a little bit wider, get a bit more of a groin stretch, head to one side, bring the other side up in the air. Other side, up in the air, and come back. All right, nearly done. Just to get a little bit more through the shoulders, coming up through your shoulders, really trying to pinch those shoulder blades back. Engage your glutes, hips up in the air, trying to stay as tall as possible through your hips. And you can start to rock forward. You get a really good stretch through the front of your shoulders. And down, getting a rotation stretch for your upper body. Now if you feel like this, is, this just gets your lower back a little bit too much, you can either bring the knees up, Open yourself up, or if you want a bit more of a challenge, try 
try and grab hold of that ankle. Pull that leg in line with you there. Pull this knee up. And try and really open yourself up. It's a really good stretch through your, at the moment, my right body, my left glute, and my upper chest and back. Break my grips, doing what they call hold the laps, and relax, and just breathe in a little bit more and open yourself up. Change sides, give another idea of how it looks on the other side. Over, grab holding your ankle. Session. Again, we'll go back to that pre-test regime we looked at to start with to see if you're feeling any better. So number one was bending forward, dropping down, see if that's any easier. Definitely for me, didn't really get my calms down. Number two, your squat. We spent time here, so this should be a fair bit easier. I definitely feel like my hips are lower on near the floor, not as rounded as what I was before. And number three, on the floor, legs over, touching the floor, locking the legs out, and that's pretty comfortable for me in the moment. So a pretty good session. Not expecting miracles for everyone, everyone's gonna be coming from a different point. Everyone's gonna respond differently depending on where they've come from the last few days, what time of the day it is. I know first in the morning I'm always stiff, but um, Hopefully you get something out of that. The more you put into this kind of work, the better you'll feel and the more you get out of it. And it can be a uh, quality workout as well with your heart rate up if you tick over at reasonable pace. Alright?